Hey Waffle, what's going on, man? Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for the Patreon donation, and I I have looked at this roster before, and there's something very awesome about it, and I can't wait to talk about that in the video. Uh, congrats on Kyber. Uh, we're gonna start as always with some fleet breakdown, some strategy for GAC or fleet arena, which I I take it you might not need. Then we'll talk about your account. Let's hop into fleets. Um, let me know either over on Patreon or in the Patreon Discord channel, um, how new this account is. Um, because I, I, I took a preliminary glance at it and I was, uh, just trying to figure out a couple of things. Um, so yeah, just let me know how old this account is. Uh, that would be awesome. You are fourth in fleet arena with the endurance, which is the reason I want to know <laughs> how old this account is because you do have the hyperdrive, and this, uh, usually people throw tons of money at the game, and it's hard to get up in ships without, like, a negotiator or something. So I was just curious. Um, obviously you have your Relic Anakin, your Ahsoka's up, you got your some good ships, you got your seven-star, uh, Bosk, and your Umbaran, and your Rex, and your TIE Advanced. I'm still trying to get that dang TIE Advanced up, man. It's a long grind because those shards never really pop up in the store. Um, Han's Millennium Falcon. I'm a little surprised to see you use Endurance as opposed to Home 1 with the Millennium Falcon in your fleet. I would probably run Home 1 with Hound's Tooth to begin with, Jedi Knight Anakin's ETA, um, Millennium Falcon, bring in Ahsoka as the first reinforcement and then use like Umbaran and Rex simply because you have relics. But if they weren't super high relic, I'd probably bring in Phantom 2 if you got it up. And then honestly, the, <laughs> the tie advanced because of the uh, Dispel plus Dots on his second ability. Um, so let me know why you prefer Endurance over Home 1, um, especially just because you have the Millennium Falcon. So let me know uh, your thoughts on that. Obviously, it doesn't really matter because you're fourth. <laughs> I'll probably get first every day. All right, let's hop in. This is what I want to talk about. I thought I was special with 2.499995 GP, million GP, five G, literally five GP away from going up a division. But this is <laughs> this is next level stuff right here. This is a man who's getting his gear up, he's getting his relic materials up so that once he wants to go over that threshold, boom, 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 he's way higher. And I respect that. This is uh, this takes some some finesse, some panache. Alright, so we have Relic 5s and Rex, Anakin, Padme, Yoda, Newt Gunray, a little, a little interested to see or to hear from you why you chose Newt Gunray. Maybe it's a passion project, maybe you're a fan. Uh, definitely curious there. Ooh, Grief. Grief with the Zeta. Hey, man, what's the most important Zeta? <laughs> this man knows what it is. It's the Zeta you have when you unlock Treya. So you have a 6-star GK and a 6-star Treya. So you've obviously been playing for quite a while. Um, which is interesting, because like, this contradicts the setup of your fleet arena. I, I simply mean, like, usually. Uh, every, every fleet and squad arena is slightly different, but... So you have the Zetas. I like this Zeta a lot. I like this Zeta a lot. This goes great with your Padme team. I wonder, do you run him in your Padme team? You do not because you have these relics. Okay. But I imagine once you get him up, you probably will. Um, Six-star Chewbacca. Mando's progressing up. I like that. Um, And then these are all like the, the, yeah, the Hyperdrive bundle characters. Okay, ooh, three, oh wait, Mon Mothma starts at three stars. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So I'll just go squad by squad. Well, I'll just hop into 501 first. Nice. I like this, actually. You have your Shock T, so I imagine this is a pretty high-powered offensive team. I imagine you probably undersize at 2 million GP. If you hit back wall, you probably go Shock T, fives, Rex only. Uh, for a little bit extra banners. I wonder, do you have this Omega? Oh, you do. I don't like the Omega. I never have put the Omega on the cover fire simply because it forces him to taunt. And you obviously don't want him to taunt because you want them to kill Ark or Echo or Rex or something like that. 
Um, let's quickly hop over to Bounty Hunters. Okay, Double Zeta Boss plus Gear 12 Django, everyone's favorite Bounty Hunter. Boba is Gear 11. And there's no real 4th or 5th. Luckily, if you, use, if you just use these three guys on offense, I mean, that's 62, 62 banners guaranteed, basically, because of the recovery, the high damage, the high damage. Um, I imagine you probably just three-man this on the back wall, uh, which is great for offensive efficiency. Uh, you can even inject a Grief in there simply because he's slightly higher geared, not high level. He probably dies pretty quickly, but if you got, let me see, speed. You got 212 speed. If you go on a weaker team, uh, he can probably throw up his mass assist, get that payout super quickly. Maybe you even throw Mando in there simply because you have a mass assist, a mass assist, a double tap, a double tap and a potential double tap here with his second ability calling someone to assist. You can probably get that boss contract up super, super quickly. All right, droids, nothing too special. So you do have the Relic Vader, which is awesome. Great solo potential. Imagine you have Merciless Master, yeah. Uh, these two, this is the only requirement for soloing um, Geonosians if you ever want to eventually progress your Darth Vader into um, viability against Geonosians in a 1v5. This state is required, and this is just for longer battles. Um, the teams you probably solo with Vader don't ever <laughs> don't ever take a turn, so the uh, the long-term effects of this leadership Zeta aren't uh, realized in that situation. You got the Emperor Palp, you got the Grand Admiral Throne. I'm going to quickly go down just to see if you have Bastila Sean Fallen. Uh, you do not. Okay. The reason I bring that up is uh, a favorite stunlock three-man team of mine is Emperor Palpatine, Thrawn, Basilisk on Fallen. Obviously, Thrawn, Thrawn fractures and can pass turn meter and protection recovery. Basilisk on has the shock synergy with Palpatine plus the fear that can stop everyone plus crazy debuffs, which are fantastic for Palp's lead. Um, Palp obviously has the shock synergy reverse with uh Basil Sean Fallen plus the ability to AoE stun. So it's a great it's a great team to use against back wall teams um that are slow <laughs> and don't have high tenacity and are poten are potential three V five candidates. No Ewoks. Uh do you have first order? I imagine not, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here's where the majority of your roster is. Alright. <laughs> I was singing your praise. I was singing your praise, but where's the cup, man? Where's the cup, man? At one star, you can get him for 10 shards. That's 400 squad arena tokens, or whatever they're called. Just one, one 400 payment gets you. You could get cup literally the second you see this video. You can say, you know, you're watching this video, you're what? Eight minutes and six seconds in. You're like, oh, pause, open your phone. Okay, I have cup. Resume playing. Actually, go do that. Are you back? Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so you have your Padme, you have your Anakin, you have your Yoda, you have your Ahsoka, and I imagine you run, like, what, fives? Yeah. Um, I, if you were lower GP, I would say this is a fantastic defensive team uh, because it's hard to beat, but since you're at basically 2 million GP, you're probably going to have to use this squad to three or four man... Um, whatever the opponent's big mainline team is, uh, oftentimes they'll have like a big Darth Revan or a big crew or some crazy shenanigans going on on their defensive side that you need a that you need a Padme for. I was gonna say maybe Geos, but since you have that Trey Zeta, you're probably chilling just there. Oh, I guess it's uh what eleven in the morning. I just got my <laughs> I just got my stuff. All right, so back to this new gun ray. I'm really curious. I'm really curious what's going on with these seppies. Now, do you run new Gunray, Django, Dooku, Magna, and like Poggle or Asajj on defense as like a strong defensive hold team at sub 2 million GP? I ask that because since you don't have a ton of bounty hunters, pulling Django away from bounty hunters is kind of a detriment to your offensive efficiency, but then again, it greatly, it greatly increases the defensive viability of this of this squad right here. So uh, let me know what you're doing in regards to that, because it's not it's not every day that you see a relic to new Gunray with the leadership Zeta and a Gear Twelve Django and a Gear Twelve Dooku, and not have them on the same team. 
Um, as you can see here, also you don't have Gene Ocean Brood Alpha uh, because of the permanent double drops. It's get it, just get them to four stars. It's an easy, easy, easy Cantina farm. Um, after I've gone through all of your factions, I'll I'll recommend farming order and stuff like that. But um, after since you already have CLS, I would imagine that your neck your very next Cantina farm should probably be getting a four star Brood Alpha. He doesn't need to go up much higher than that. It's more just like a back wall defensive team to try to catch your opponent. Uh, try to catch him slipping, pretty much. All right, so where did we leave off last time? We were at Galactic Republic. Obviously, we went over Gene Oceans. Excuse me. M Troopers, obviously nothing going on there. No Jawa Juice, man. Jedi, all right. Okay, so you do have Revan. Um, that's going to be... It's going to play a good role in the teams I'm going to let you... Or inform you of that I would recommend for offense. Um, pretty standard teams that I recommend quite frequently, so it shouldn't come as any huge surprise. I like what's going on here. <laughs> if this video ever makes it to YouTube, uh, one of the guys on Discord, Qui Gon Jim, Qui Gon Jim, instead of Qui Gon Jin, obviously, uh, comment, say what's up, say what's up to uh, our boys. I've never seen a Qui Gon Jin at, <laughs> at gear 12 at sub 2 million GP. And you got the Hoda, that's awesome. Night Sisters, not a lot going on there. Old Republic, obviously you have the basic, come on, level 70? You don't need them at level 70. I'd say level 51. <laughs> Phoenix, obviously, you haven't put too much resources into that. Fantastic. Rebels, I know you have CLS, I know you have Han, I know you have a 6-star Chewbacca. Um, if you can get your Chewbacca up, gear 10, gear 11, um, even before your 7 stars, this 3-man becomes slightly more viable. Obviously, it's super viable right now. Um, once you get into 7 stars, or even now, if you have Zetas to spare, this is a fantastic Zeta. 3-man, 62 banners guaranteed, basically. Um, you could even throw in extra guys, and he can punch up. This team is pretty solid against uh, Darth Revan Malak teams at higher gears. So definitely a team you want to keep up on, but fortunately it's a team that you don't need uh, like a ton of gear to make super viable. Um... Other Rebels, what's going on over here? Not much. Rebel Fighters, obviously nothing. Resistance, probably nothing. Scoundrels, yeah, I think you had a nest. You're working on that three-star Emphy's nest. Uh, preparing for that solo viability once he gets to, once she gets to Relic. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> uh, once she gets to Relic. I actually might start farming nest myself. Um, I'm working on a <laughs> a permanent super solo team. I'm working on a solo Django, a solo Darth Vader, a solo Malak, and a solo Emphy's Nest. So if I can solo every backwall team, it's basically a guaranteed victory forever. So I thought that'd be funny. Uh, obviously, you have your standard. This is so funny. <laughs> the hyperdrive gives you the five star Nihilus at level eighty, and you put one piece of gear on him. No ability mats and put two levels on them. Very interesting. I like that. Um, I'm curious to see what your Treya team is looking like. Um, if you use it to counter Geos, do you go Treya, Palp, Nihilus, Vader? I'm a little in, uh, curious to see what uh, your thought process is there. Obviously, you have the HK because you see an easy farm. <sighs> no Tuscans, man. No error, darn shame. All right, so start to split up some GAC teams. Here we go. You ready for this? this? Is probably the most important part of the video. Actually, let me go over farming first. Um, farm in Cantina. Farm your um, farm your brood. Get them to through four stars. Farm Mando and Grief and ships. Get them up to seven stars. You might be saying, wow, why don't I do the Karth and Giahani and all that stuff? Just, they're close. Just get them up, especially because uh, they're actually not double drop characters. But um, if you can get them seven stars, seven stars, this is a permanent high powered. This is the best bounty hunter team in the game right here. Um, it'll, <laughs> it'll serve you very well for years to come. And even could be a super defensive team if you ever have too many high banner offensive teams, which you will have. Um, so farm them in fleets, and then in a dark light side, what do we got going on? I think in dark side and light side, you can probably start... 
You know what? I'm going to take that back. This is what you should do. Fleets, farm Karth. All excess energy throw into uh, Grief Karga. Okay? Light side, farm Geohani. Make sure you do your 125 crystal refresh every day. Don't do the 50 crystal refresh. Uh, it's not it's not worth it long term. Then on the hard side or the dark side, uh, what is it? I can't remember. What is his name? Why am I blanking on his name? <laughs> um, the one that's on the hard side, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, what's the team? It's Karth is in ships, Candorus is in Cantina, Giohani is in light side. What's the other one? You have HK. Oh, Bastlashan Fallen. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so sorry, man. I stayed up all night watching Mando. I am tired. Bastlashan Fallen. Get that Bastlashan Fallen farm in. Uh, farm those guys. Uh, start to progress towards your Darth Revan with excess energy. Farm, farm Mando. Um, you can probably go for Brood Alpha first before you go for Candorus because Cantina farms are quicker, so it would farming Candorus after Brood Alpha wouldn't really mess up your timeline as far as Darth Revan goes, so I think that should be viable. Plus, the other Geos are easy farms, so uh, it'll help you progress towards a strong defensive team just to have in the future. All right, strats. Obviously, I would recommend saving your Padme for uh, whatever your opponent's best defensive team is. Vader solos. Newt Gunray. Don't put Django in the Newt Gunray team. Give him Count Dooku and the other Separatists. I think you had Magna, um, Asajj, and Poggle. Throw those guys out there. Django, go with Bounty Hunters. Three-man or four-man with Grief Karga, depending on how weak the opponent's team is. Regain all your banners. Get max banners. Shock T, Rex 5s. Three-man on the back wall. And split up your Jedi into. I am I blinking. I know how to spell Jedi. Go Revan, Yoda, maybe Hoda if the team is slightly stronger. Bast Lashawn. Actually, sorry, not <laughs> not Grandmaster Yoda. Revan Jolie Hoda, Bast Lashawn Yoda. So one, two, three is a team, and one, two is a team. Sixty-three banners, sixty-two banners. Shock T plus the two clones, 62 banners. CLS, 62 banners. Um, Bounty Hunter, 61 or 62 banners. Padme. Oftentimes, you might not even need to use Padme on offense um, because your other high-efficiency teams will take care of everyone. But save Padme for offense um, until you get a like a much stronger other offensive team that could take out like a Darth Revan or like a Relic 7 crew or something like that. Um, defense, obviously you have your newt and then throw what else you can, whatever else you can fit back there, uh, like your rebels and stuff like that. Um, you should out banner, <laughs> out banner your opponent pretty, pretty easily and shouldn't have too much trouble in grand arena. As we can tell 1.8, I could have just looked at your lifetime banners to realize how long you've been playing. I'm so stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Obviously, you've been playing a while. You've been hitting Kyber Division 6, so you know what you're doing. Um, get those farms going. I imagine you're already using those teams, but that's what I would recommend for offense. Get those high banners and win, man. All right, as always, uh, thanks for the donation. And if you need anything, hit me up on Patreon. Hit me up on Discord. Uh, I'll get any videos out you want, uh, hopefully same day. Uh, I think the day before this video comes out on YouTube... I just punched my computer screen on accident. The day before this comes out on YouTube, I'll be out of town. So the day this comes out, I'll be back and able to make videos if you want any follow-up videos, if you want anything like that. So thank you so much, and I'll see you later.